revelling in the moment. These local scholarship winners are still on cloud nine after receiving grants to fund further study and professional development. I'm still <laughs> kind of blown away, can't believe it really. Um, feel incredibly privileged to be counted among an amazing group of New Zealanders who are doing some really awesome stuff. She'll be using her scholarship to fund further study around cancer treatment. That'll see her travelling to Washington DC and working with some of the world's top paediatricians. She's planning to bring back what she learns overseas to enhance cancer treatments in New Zealand. We're working with paediatric neuroblastoma, which is a very rare, aggressive form of childhood um, cancer. It's a nasty one. The poor little kids suffer terribly through the treatment and most, in most cases the treatment doesn't work. So it's a, it's a cancer that's really ripe for a new approach such as immunotherapy. Stuart Gunn's wanting to use his scholarship to finish off an error-proof GPS emergency alert app that he's been creating. The mobile phone application will warn people about extreme weather, emergencies and things like road closures. He's also hoping it'll work to predict earthquakes. Now that we've won, it will enable us to finish the app and bring it to market, probably within about six months, uh, which will bring all our plans forward quite a bit and provide New Zealand with um, a service that's lacking. The pair were flown to Auckland where their work was showcased to a crowd of hundreds before being awarded with trophies. In total, a dozen Kiwis were given scholarships after about 2,000 people applied. Annabelle Dick, 39 Dunedin News.